Hey everybody, just coming here for a quick update. Uh, sorry the video is late again. Um, I'll get right to the numbers. Last week I was 276.1 and this week, wait no, sorry. Yeah, I did. It's 276.1 and this week I am 274.4. So not a big loss, but it's still a loss. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Um, I wasn't sure why it was, you know, one or two pounds versus the four pounds I'm supposed to lose, but hey, as long as it's going down, right? Um, but this week I'm really trying to buckle down on my protein, um, which I've been doing so far except for yesterday. Yesterday I kind of had a scare. Uh, I guess it was just a coincidence, thankfully. Um, I thought I was having, I was having these weird symptoms where all of a sudden I'd get this excruciating gas pain to almost to the point to where I couldn't even take in a breath, like it hurt that bad, and then all of a sudden it'd be gone. And then a little bit later it'd come and go. And it, I was thinking about going to the hospital, but my surgeon is like two hours away, so and they don't have any like DS surgeons here and I was afraid it might be like an obstruction so I had read that some of the symptoms were what I was experiencing um, I was also throwing up and I couldn't keep anything down at that point um, so I ended up calling my surgeon and he said you know it could just be something you ate or it's too early to tell, so wait it out. Uh, if it gets worse, you know, go to the ER, obviously, but I didn't end up going to the ER because it was coming and going, and it, it was getting better, but it was still pretty bad. Because um, I had read that with the obstruction, it's like a constant pain, not coming and going, so I was, like, confused, like, you know, is this something I should be worried about? Because, you know, obviously I don't have an appendix or gallbladder, so some, some kind of pain, you know, that's a cause for an alarm. But, uh, today everything is fine. Um, just a little constipated because I couldn't eat last night. Sorry if that's too much information. Um, just trying to keep it real here. Um, I had started my vitamins this week. Um, and I got this pill organizer, I don't know if you can see it, uh, it has morning, noon, evening, night. Um, I haven't started the iron yet, but I know some people don't tolerate that well, so that should be interesting. And whoa, sorry for my hair. <laughs> my hair down. Um, basically it has the four things, and I just put my vitamins there. Except for my calcium shoes, they don't fit there. So I just put them in a, like this little bird cup. I can show you. Let's see, now I'm a bird person. <laughs> I guess squirt likes the cup too. <laughs> you like the vitamins? <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, I got this. I guess he's gonna sing. Now that he's done singing, <laughs> I'm back. Um, got some head scratches. I guess he was in a Valentine's mood. Um, I guess I'm in a Valentine's mood pink shirt, but anyway. Um, like I was saying, I got this pill organizer, and, uh, it's like a 31-day pill organizer. I can't really get a picture of it. I'll put it in the next video, but, uh, it's really helpful to help me, you know, get used to the whole measuring out stuff and planning. Um, before surgery, you know, I, I I took a lot of pills. I probably took more than these vitamins, but they were just kind of in the bottle, and I'd take them. And if I forgot a pill, I forgot a pill. But I don't want to forget my vitamins, so I got pill organizer. Um, on sale at Target, but anyways, um, 
it's just going to be a quick update this week because I'm really tired. Um, so next week I will see you guys for a weigh-in. Yeah. Hopefully I'll still be losing and not another stall. Not that this time was a stall or anything, but I know that's going to happen again sometime soon. I, even though I don't want it to, but... Anyways, hope you guys are having a good week and a happy Valentine's Day. Talk to you guys later. Bye.